have been teaching in the school for past uh, 17 to 18 years. And when you are some of the life now, you know, so the topic at this moment that you recall and why didn't you talk about my life? Happy moment is like what? Every time I am a happy go lucky kind of person. No, I, I enjoy life. I take things very lightly. I don't take it too seriously. Whatever happens to me, I'll, uh, whatever is happening, that is different thing for me. But till date, you know, till uh, till say um, January 19th, 15th, this year. <laughs> I was, you know, a very different kind of person. I used to take things lightly. I, I had, you know, I was like, I never took things seriously. I kind of what is, um, whatever came my way, I felt that I can do it. You know, I was not scared of, you know, uh, facing challenges and all this stuff. You know, I could face any kind of problem. Okay, so my happy moments are like, when I was young, I had a good time with my friends in my college. My marriage life was also a very happy one. I had a very good life. You know, 18 years of my marriage was very really good. There are many happy moments in my life which I cannot tell you right now because it's a long list. Right now, the sad moment which I can say is that um, my husband passed away uh, January 20th, 2018. That is the you know the darkest phase of my life because my husband was suffering for past two years. But I was really we both were coping up. We both tried our best. I led a very good life when I was with my parents. Then after I got married, I had a very good life with my husband and his family. As time passed by, my friends, my families, you know, so they gave me the encouragement. And that is how I was encouraged. And I felt that uh, nothing is impossible in life. And if you uh, if you have something in you, you know, the, the zeal, the zest in you, you can do it. Whatever may come your way. Since I'm a very, you know, um, easygoing kind of person, I also consoled myself that, you know, I cannot just uh, sit and cry and, you know, drool over the past things because I have to move on further, especially for my son. He, for him, I have to do many things for him now. He's just in, uh, he just passed just in the uh, So I have to take care of him, I have to look after his studies, I have to do things for him. So that is how I got encouraged and I am telling you again, because of my friends out here, they are very encouraging. So I feel that nothing is impossible in life. If you, you know, if there is a will, there is a way. You know? If you, you know, if you console yourself, you, you you have to make yourself strong. That is what I think. I made myself strong, though at times I still, you know, sometimes I sit and cry. You know, I feel bad, but still I, uh, still I, you know, made myself very strong, and that is how I'm moving on. I may smile every time, but you know, the pain is still there in me. But I, I don't want to show it on I feel that you know, it's useless to the people that I'm in pain, I'm suffering. So, because I am now, I'm leading my life like I used to. So I'm feeling better now, and I think I'll move on this way.